What's up guys, Frisky here. Got a video for you guys about Minecraft or more about uh, what to do with uh, Minecraft videos. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on uh, motion blur, post-processing motion blur. Um, before, to clear any confusion, a lot of people seem to think this in other videos, this is not a mod or a plugin or something that's going to make your Minecraft look better while you play. This is for post-processing, which means it's a method of video editing or video post-processing that makes videos of Minecraft look better, not what you're playing. So now that we've got that clear and out of the way, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You're going to need three things, um, or I guess four things. Uh, you'll need Virtual Dub Mod, um, Avisynth, which is software, but all of this is free software, um, MV Tools 2, uh, and um, a script, which I have uh, hosted on my website. Links for all this stuff is in the description. Uh, download it all, and uh, I'm going to show you what to do everything. Um, first, Avisynth, you want to download and install that. Um, just go straight into your program files. Um, I'm on 64 bit, so it's going to be program files x86. Uh, if you're on 32 bit operating system, it's just going to be in regular program files. Uh, so we're going to go down to Avisynth 2.5. Uh, now I can only guarantee that this will all work on uh, the current versions of all these programs. Uh, they don't—they aren't updated frequently, and chances are, if they do update, it's not going to break anything. So you should be uh, just fine. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is uh, take uh, your mvtools2.dll um, this should have come in the mvtools download it's in a zip folder uh, just extract that and you can put it into your plugins folder right here um, mvtools2 make sure you've got that in there otherwise it's going to give you some errors and you won't know what you're doing uh, anyways once you're done with that you can close that out uh, make sure you have the script downloaded which in this case is motionblur.avs uh, you're also going to need some raw footage uh, from Minecraft. I have a 13 second clip. Uh, it's in 1080p HD at uh, about 30 frames per second. Um, and uh, we're going to add our motion blur to this. Uh, now what you're going to need to do is get the uh, name of your Minecraft uh, footage from Fraps. Uh, this is recorded with Fraps. Um, and uh, that's probably the best way to do it either way. Uh, but you can open up, uh, you double click that uh, by default. Um, AVS files, if you didn't disable it when you installed Avisynth, will open up with Notepad. Uh, and under this line right here, it says Drexo Source. And then it's got the quotes with the file name in it. Now you're going to change the file name here. It says test.avi. I'm going to change it to raw.avi because that's what mine is right here. And I'm going to make sure that saves. And uh, I'm going to close that out. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is open up Virtual Dub Mod. Uh, it's right here, Virtual Dub Mod.exe. Resize this down a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to File, Open Video File. And we're actually going to open up uh, the script that I gave you guys. So it's motionblur.avs. You're not opening your raw file yet, you're opening the script, the Avacyn script. So now as you can see here, uh, this is the beginning of my video file. Um, what it has done is it's taking um, the video file and it is uh, using the script and Avisynth and the uh, MV Tools 2 Motion Blur plugin and putting it all together uh, to give you a finished uh, motion blur. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple frames here. As you can see, this is really blurry, but that's because I'm moving my camera in the game in the footage. Uh, so this is just an example of one frame of the motion blur. Now what we're going to want to do is render this out. Um, go to the video tab here and go to compression. Uh, now I have the FFD show video codec installed. Um, just Google that if you don't have it. Uh, if you're rendering videos, generally you should already know what kind of codecs you're using. Um, this is the very basic AVI codec. Uh, I use H.264. Um, you should know what you're doing in this case uh, as is. But uh, if you don't have one, go download FFD Show um, and you can configure it. I'm using the H.264 encoder, like I said. 
with a one pass quality mode um, if you want to copy my stuff here I don't think I've changed much except for uh, some other settings I don't think I've changed anything actually uh, I could do bitrate um, if you like do bitrate to change or to get a specific bitrate of video but I'm just gonna do one pass quality quality at a hundred and uh, I'm gonna hit cancel just to make sure I didn't change anything there um, and you should be good just hit OK and then uh, go to file and save as and then we're gonna go to the desktop and we're gonna call this vdub render dot avi and we're gonna save and now if we bump this up to a little bit higher uh, your computer will render out uh, the uh, motion blur and uh, the video itself will be a uh, hundred percent done um, after this now uh, there are a couple problems with this uh, once it exports um, the audio I have found in my case is usually off sync um, but generally this VDub is used for uh, just video so I probably should have turned off audio in the first place. If you go to the audio drop down menu, you can uh, uncheck it and make sure it doesn't uh, doesn't get uh, rendered out with your final video. And then what I would do is take your original Fraps file and with whatever editing software you're using, you can cut out the video for that, just use the audio, and then just use one point and sync it up. Um, you should have no problems with that. Anyways, I'm going to pause the video here and uh, come back when this is done rendering and I'll show you guys the finished product. Alright, so we finished the render here um, and it's gone back to that frame I was showing you so we are safe to close out um, uh, virtual dub. And uh, now we've got this virtual dub render dot avi. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and this is our finished product and uh, I'm going to cut over to that video and uh, we'll be able to see how that uh, went out. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you uh, found that uh, final render to be uh, visually pleasing. Um, other than that, uh, I hadn't added any um, post-processing other than the motion blur, so I could have added color correction, stuff like that, um, to make it look even better. Um, it's uh, baby steps to like machinima and stuff. Uh, cool camera angles, think of all that stuff, uh, and uh, you could make something really cool. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Um, I've got more on the way. A new computer, got so much more I can do with stuff now. Um, I might even do a video about that, uh, all the specs on my computer and stuff. But anyways, for now, I will see you guys next time, and again, thank you for watching.